Welcome to another episode of the This Is Your Backyard, where we highlight Australia's talents and pioneers. Get ready to be inspired by one of our local businesswomen, Rahima Rain, who is a proud owner of Blush Boutique. This is your backyard. My name is Rahima Rain. Um, I own Blush Boutique. Um, it's just a small little boutique that we have in Underwood, basically stocking casual clothing, um, dresses, formal dresses, just your everyday clothes for your everyday Muslim girl. Um, not just Muslim girls, we cater to non-Muslims as well. And a lot of new hijabis that are coming up that want to wear the hijab, the young teens, yeah, yes. so we stock quite a wide so range. you cater for every age? We cater for every age, yeah, like our youngest customer could be 10 and our oldest could be 80. Mm -hmm. So we love the fact that we get to meet new faces and we get to dress all different yeah. bodies and all different ages and yeah we've well, we really love doing it. And can you tell me um, why do you do what you do? Why I do what I do? Uh, basically I came back from Sydney a few years ago, a couple of years ago and I realized that in Brisbane we don't have much here for the Muslim community. Yeah, so we did have a couple of shops here and there, um, but really no one's stocking anything casual just for your uni student or for your busy mum or yeah. your work your work ladies. Um, yeah, there was nothing here really that was in like a medium price range that's affordable that, you know, is good for the everyday woman. So I came back here and I was saying to my sister-in-law, like, where did you guys, where do you guys get your clothes from? They said, we're doing shopping online, you know, from the Sydney shops. Yeah. But then the problem with that was when everybody sort of got it online, it wasn't the right fit or the yes. right cut. So I said, well, I can do this. I, like, I want to do this for our community because, well, I need this. So I'm assuming everybody else does as well. So that's where it came from. When did you start? When did you open Bushwood? Can you tell us the journey? Um, so basically, I moved back from Sydney uh, about two and a half years ago, and at that point, I'd moved in with my parents, okay. and I was just working as a bookkeeper because that's also what I do. And yeah, I just had this thing in the back of my mind that like I love fashion. Like I'm a graphic designer by my degree, um, so I love colors and I love fashion. I love interiors and I like putting all that together. And I was just sort of brainstorming what I should do because um, I didn't obviously want to bookkeep forever. Yeah. I do like doing that but um, and then I just had the idea like I could do this like there's nothing in Queensland and I wanted to really um, yeah, go into something that was a bit more on the fashion side or in the in the design side of things yes. um, and I'm someone that dabbles in many things like I'm not just blush boutique yeah. like I have my own other side business and you know something I've always got something going on but I really enjoy Doing that but yeah blush boutique was established in october um, of 2018 yeah so we had a big opening night and that was really successful and from there alhamdulillah like we've been doing really well um, we've had a steady like flow and we had we got hit with the covid at that point mm -hmm. um, and we still managed to sort of get through that come out strong on the other side and yeah for now it's just about getting exposure for our business yeah. mostly now um, and just getting our name out there in the community. If I do this for the next 10 years, if I do this for the next 20 years, I don't know. Yeah. For, for me, I'm someone that will always look for 
new opportunities or other opportunities, but I feel like it's going to be around, Blush Boutique will be around for a while, even if it's a mantle that I pass on to someone else in the future. Um, and it just depends like um, where life takes us, but we're definitely gonna be around for a while, inshallah, that's the plan. And just sort of grow the business, like grow the, um, grow as a community grows, we wanna grow with the community. So if that requires us to open, you know, another shop later in the future, five years into the future, when the community has sort of spread into other areas. Right now, our community is very much in Kirby, Underwood, like with the bulk of it. So this is a good area to have the shop. But if, as it expands and we have been expanding, yeah, definitely we would sort of expand with that community. still have your career, you can still have your family, you know, multitask and have your children, have your husband. So for me, I, I do all of that and, I, and it's good to have that balance because I feel it's very important as a woman to have something for herself as well, something that she looks forward to every day. And yes, we love our children and we love our family and our husbands, but we also, it's nice for us as independent women to have that for ourselves and to set that example for the younger generation coming up that you can do both and you can juggle both. It can be tricky, but you know, you can sort of have that life, you know, have that family life and have that work life at the same time. You can have, you can be who you are besides the mother, besides the yeah. father, besides the Yeah, and I've always found that having that balance as a mother and and being yourself as well. Like I love, I love my child to death. Yes. I would do anything for her but I'm also still a person. Yeah. You know, I also still want to have some, you know, we, we fit together. Yeah. yeah, we fit together. You know, like I, she has her life and I have my life and she's a person, I'm a person, but we sort of fit together and we, you know, bounce off each other. That way. Like I haven't just given up my whole life for my child and she is my whole world, but I also do other things that sort of balance that out for myself as well. And I really enjoy that. I enjoy having that, that work-life balance.